I've spent a lot of time in pubs and one of the dishes I always go to if it's on the menu are the slow cooked ribs. Texan spices, oh. a little bit of flavour, cooked to perfection mm. so the meat just falls off the bone. I know what you're talking about. One of my favourites. But you don't have to go to a pub to have it, do you? No, you don't. That's what we're doing here. That's what we're teaching them how to make it at home. <laughs> exactly. Now, you can see this is the rib which comes from uh, this part here. And you can see it's got the intercostal muscle on the outside here. Nice big piece of bone there for you to pick up and chew. But this meat does a lot of work, you know, breathing yes. in and out. Yes. So <laughs> this piece of meat needs to be cooked nice and low and slow. It's like an anatomy lesson. Exactly. I had a different experience in anatomy, but I can imagine you being down in the lab. Well, exactly. I would have been the down in the... Costals, talking about the fibres, what they're doing, fast twitch, slow twitch, I like it. Exactly. I would have had the white coat on and, yeah, uh, you know, the that. little stethoscope yeah. and the glasses and stuff. Hey, I could have been... I don't all wear glasses. I, That's okay. I, I could have been in there. Now, I've got these ribs in here. We need to have some salt on there because salt loves meat. Meat loves salt. Yes. We've heard it many times. We but it have. Is we sure have. The most important thing. In fact, I've got T-shirts with that on, you know? I know. Just to remind it's people... It's like your brand. Exactly. Exactly. I say it all the time. And the amount of people that stop me in the street, Richo, I'm so happy you tell everyone that because when I put salt on my meat now, it tastes so much much better. And if you've got high blood pressure, just be cautious, but that's okay. And I say thank you very much. It's a real pleasure that you've actually passed on that information that you're <laughs> okay. cooking beautiful, delicious meat now. I like the way you block now. me out. It's exactly. Nice. Good. Now take the green top off and yes. then cut them into three or four pieces. Yes. I've got this garlic over here. I'll slice the garlic. Now this is going to be in the oven for quite some time. So having big chunks of vegetables and mm. garlic, leaving it nice and chunky, it's going to cook nice and low and okay. slow and fall apart. Okay. So big chunks Chunks like this are well and truly okay. That's why I'm allowed to chop the chilies today. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. The seeds are in and it's chunky. Yeah, it's so chunky. is allowed to have a knife today. Well, I'll, I'll let you cut the tops off them, so that's <laughs> okay. So we, uh, we allowed you to do that. So this goes in here? Straight in the okay. bowl there. Ginger goes in as well, yes. and you can see I've cut into nice little strips. I love them in strips like this because they're really nice to eat. Mm. When I see that, it's got a punching, it's like a, like a boxing match, isn't it? I just think of the boxing bell, you know? You probably haven't done much boxing, no, have you? I haven't. <laughs> Straight in here, we've got okay. some soy sauce okay. going in Wonderful. there. Wonderful. And we've got some lovely light soy goes Sorry, in there as well. Sorry, the body threw me that whole <laughs> analogy. And we've also got some sugar here, about okay. half a cup of sugar. Could you use honey? You could use honey. Okay. But I'm going to get you to pass me that uh, barbecue sauce mm. over there. Barbecue sauce is really important with this. Nice and simple. Pour it straight oh, in the whole lot of it. Oh, that smells good. That's a lovely Australian barbecue sauce, which is what we like. Packs the bottom of it like that. That's Polly. it. Just give it a, like this. Just, <laughs> That's okay. You can see it comes out really thick, which is what I'm looking for. Look at it coming out there. See, the trick is once you get a little air bubble in the top there, okay. it all sort of helps the grav something gravity or science. Yeah? Yes. Science makes it come out okay. of the bottom of the bottle. And here's my little trick. I've got a little bit of beer over here. Oh. I pour some of that in here and watch this. Oh, splush, 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 splush. We do have the lid here, Chef, but that's okay. We do, and we get okay. all the goodness out of it. You can start I mixing really that around. I really want to start mixing it together. I and love these flavours. Interesting. I think people think ribs, this is going to be a lot of work. You've already used the barbecue sauce. You've plumped it up a little bit with some other flavours. Very doable. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I'll put the oh. spring onion straight in there yep. as well. Now, I've got some stock over there. Now, you can use stock if you want. You can use water. I'll just put a little bit of that in yep. here. So we've got some extra flavour. Yes. The whole idea is we're adding flavours we go along. Yes. Now, normally I would marinate these overnight, but I'm going to show you a little trick. These are going to cook in the oven for about four hours at 160 degrees. Now, you can see the meat side on one side and the bone side on the other. Yes. I turn them all around once I've seasoned them so that the meat side actually cooks in the liquid oh. and soaks it all up. Okay. I mean, the bone we're going to chew on, but we're not going to yeah. eat it. We want all that meat to have this luscious yeah, flavour all over it. it. Okay, exactly. so we'll soak it up. Yeah, beautiful. Exactly. Now, I'll put that on there like that. Now, we could throw it in the oven like this, nice and low and slow, but I'm going to cover it up. And what I use is this baking paper. Scrunch it up like yes. this, and then when you scrunch it up, it sits on there nice and evenly. Okay. There's no chasing bits of baking paper yes. all over the place. But throw it straight on there. I don't there. know what's happened in your life before this moment that, that you're talking <laughs> exactly. about baking paper running away. Oh, uh, that's you know, you could open the window and you put the oh, baking okay. paper on and it just slides away. And I just fold this aluminium foil over the top of it. Now the oven's preset to 160 degrees Celsius. It's gonna go in the oven for about three and a half hours. And that last half an hour, I take the foil off and I take the baking paper off and let it glaze on top. So the oh. sauce becomes nice and thick and juicy. I'm salivating. The meat becomes moist and tender. And get it in there. In the oven. Get I'll it shut in. up and get it in the oven. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, 
prayer, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? It does. All I can say is, wow. Wow, four hours later. It's the best four hours being spent in my whole life, just <laughs> waiting for this to cook. Waiting for your children to be born. That it's, didn't well, count. No, yes. not at all. Don't worry about children when you've got beef ribs. Now, I'll get you to mix that round with your hands. Okay. Just, uh, just some, very gently. Hold the, You can hold the bowl as well. Okay. There we go. You could and, have um, done that. You I, could have easily. I could have. Put your own fingers in there anyway. Look, the bone just falls straight wow. off. It's just delicious. There we go. Keep on mixing. We want to make sure, make sure it's all mixed together beautifully. Okay. And we put the sauce over it's the top of it. It's unusual that you use your fingers for everything. I would, I well, would often use tongs, but that's okay. I do a thing with my hands where I wash them and I sing happy birthday to myself. Oh. That's the correct amount of time for washing Wait your hands. Wait a minute. One of us is a health professional here. Hold here up. Hold happy up. Birthday yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Dear Adrian, happy birthday to you. And that's a good, you know, 10, 15 Measure seconds. Of time. Exactly. Look at that. That is beautiful. You know, when it comes to pub classics, you know, when you see a dish like this yes. on the menu that's presented beautifully, Ooh. a little bit of crunchy onion over the top this. like that. Bringing it together. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I need to do when I'm tasting this? I want to get into this sauce because this looked very easy and doable for me. It's, well, yeah, this is fairly easy and doable yeah, for you. Yeah, so this could be a potential. I'm going to have a taste of this. Exactly. Do you mind? No, yeah, mm. dig in. Now, this is what I would consider to be a really fancy mm. dish that you'd get in a fancy pub. I don't know if you go to any of those pubs, but, Ooh. you know, Ooh, a dish I like do. this, don't you do. Worry I bet you do. Oh, I bet you do. Up. Yeah, I do. I'm going to have a taste of this one because um, it looks so pretty. That is glorious. That sauce. I love the fact that you've used that barbecue sauce. So easy. Yep. Really zhuzhed it up. Very doable. I'm guessing you could do lamb, pork, whatever you like. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Anything with a rib. Anything with a pulse. You could put tofu in there. Exactly. Anything. Let's not push it too you far. You could. You could. Yep. I really like it. This is what I'm looking for. That real tender sort mm. of look. Mm. Happy place. Mm. Should I sign this one off mm. whilst you go to somewhere distant in your head? Where am I? Yeah, where am I? Where Somewhere am I? great. That, it's a very good one. I love it.